for celebrating because we've just finalized a very significant conversion moving from R22, which is an ozone depleting refrigerant, into R410A, which is a non-ozone depleting refrigerant to comply with 2010 regulations. In addition, we have some energy efficiency standards we need to comply with at the same time. So with the reason we're here in Clarksville, Tennessee, is this facility represents the lion's share of all those products that we're making this migration for. So it's a big deal in terms of the offerings we can do, in terms of our own internal commitments to energy reducing programs, and that's within train, and that's broadly within Ingersoll Rand at the same time. Today's an example of moving out of ozone depletion, but our commitment to environment is that we're also thinking about climate change at the same time. And one of the best cost-effective returns on investment for climate change mitigation is energy efficiency. Train has participated directly in all of the Montreal Protocol meetings except for one, in all of the climate change meetings except for one. So we're in that process, we're helping shape the process, we're educating the different country delegates on the issues that are out there, the technologies that are out there that can help mitigate climate change, that can mitigate ozone depletion, and most importantly, can do it cost effectively. Because if we don't develop cost effective mitigating solutions, the customer's not going to buy it. That does us no good to have nice technologies on a shelf that's not used. So we have to make sure it's viable in the industry. The consumers are going to want to buy more efficient equipment, which is what drives the energy reduction. It's good for the environment, it's good for our business, and it's good for the consumers. That's not too bad.